what is the intent behind the whole creation and the creation of the life forms when i say intent i am actually implying a conscious agent there somebody in the common language somebody not a human not an animal not a god somebody there's something which has, has this ability to form an intention the intention is of creating something other than itself a special case of recreation is the life form the animals the plants and the humans and everything the embodied and the disembodied so what is it what is the reason behind the creation now as soon as i say intention it is an ability of the mind to hold an intention it is a desire of some kind and as soon as i say the mind there is a mind there which is forming an intention that means there is already something which is created there is already something there which is having an intention so creation has already happened this is the logical difficulty this is the logical problem that is behind this question that if you ask for an intention something of or something already has been created now you must ask for an intention of the creation of that thing which is intending to do all other creation this is the logical difficulty so the only solution is to assume because that's all we can do we can only assume that the creation of anything even the very first thing happens without any intention it is not intentional the intent is a part of the creation now the, this is not a satisfactory answer because you will say that then why is there a creation at all if there is no intention to create it how can there be something without anyone doing something now you can see that clearly this is beyond the mind and this is beyond the everyday human mind human minds they work in a very specific way they are bound in a very specific way they are bound in ignorance so let us see how humans create whenever i create something i take something and change it there there is the creation starts in the mind the creation starts with an intention let me create this so for example i want to create a um, pot clay clay pot i take i dig out the clay i wet the clay there is an intention to form it in into specific shape and there it is the pot is there now there is a purpose for it i can use it for something and this is the way the human mind works it, it there is an intention there is an action and the action is a directed action it is not a random action we call the directed actions as intelligent actions there is intent in the word intelligence so uh, the intent and action they give rise to creation as far as human activity is concerned now look at uh, how the mother nature creates we plant a seed and it grows into tree and flowers and fruits and they appear is there an intent is there an action there and is it an intelligent action now nothing can be said because the mind of the mother nature is not like human mind it is completely different so we never say that uh, somebody is growing the trees somebody is sprouting the uh, plants from the seeds and somebody is creating the flowers we cannot say like this because we do not see any mind there behind this action behind this happening that is uh, intending this to happen so you can now see that these words intentions and actions and the creator and the creation they are all uh, a creation of the mind they are all a peculiarity of the human mind it happens only in a human mind because of its particular way of functioning it functions in this way intention appears action happens and it is a directed action it is not a random and the product appears and you will notice that 
we always take something from outside to create it does not our creations do not appear in thin air out of nothing it is always a transformation not a creation that we do not create we simply change using our intent there is a difference between creation and transformation so humans don't create they call it creation for some some um odd reason so you see this this is the way the mind works and when it sees everything when it sees all the life forms and when it sees and this world whatever is appearing is the world and so the question arises because this is the way the mind works this is the way there this is the ignorance in the mind that there has to be an intent behind some everything because whatever i create whatever appears using my body and my thoughts has there is me behind it there is an intention behind it so it projects its ignorance onto the world onto the life forms so this is the answer and it can be taken to another level by seeing that in the human mind the intention never appears by a will it appears from the memory and you can only do that way which which is already there in memory and what what is there in the memory that which is already experienced so you can say that the creation happens in the mind but it happens through the memory and is again a transformation of some kind the mind is taking whatever is in the memory transforming it into something and that the same action appears through the body in the world so no creation there nothing at all it is merely a change a continuous change and it is the ignorance of the mind to assign an intention an intelligence and a creator a purpose and a meaning a direction to whatever appears this is what we call as maya <laughs> this is projection of the mind on simple happening simple appearances the appearances are i can say they are simple but not so simple you see but this extra layer is added on on the top of it and look this is being created from somewhere it is coming so no intention there it is just appearances they appear in a very ordered way actually they appear in ordered and disordered both but the mind selects that which is ordered and does not make any sense of the randomness so they, it is not you know imprinted on the memory the random things that happen they don't imprint on the memory a little bit of order yes appears as a creation appears as a form that is what is happening there is everything all possibilities and the possibilities with a little bit of order in them the low entropy patterns they appear as forms when perceived through the mind the mind itself is a form this is the funny thing this is the paradoxical thing